Oh, hello, Diane and everyone. Thanks for the opportunity to speak here. Uh, for those of you who don't, who don't know, Axiomatics is a partner and contributing sponsor to the foundation. We do things such as provide tested and validated commercial, commercially supported distributions of foundation platforms to third parties. We do things such as- Amy, yes. did you have slides you wanted to share? Yes, it's not yep. sharing. It's not sharing. Hold on one second then. Share screen. Is it sharing now? Uh, we have your whole screen. Yes, that should change. Do you want to do? I got it. Got it. Thank you. Okay. So, and so we provide you know such things as cloud hosted solutions. I'll go through this quick since I know we're running into the break. Uh, Keith Elliston, who everybody here seems to know, uh, he was the CEO of. Uh, Axiomatics, he stepped down to become CEO of Femi Systems. Uh, I recently became the chief executive officer of uh, Axiomatics. Diane asked me to just give a very brief introduction. Uh, I was the managing director for the genome database. I founded and directed a top 500 supercomputing center. Uh, that was devoted solely to computational biology. Uh, I, while I was at the Duke Cancer Bioinformatics uh, Center running it, uh, I went through a uh, midlife crisis and decided to get a law degree while I was doing that. Thinking back, I thought it was probably the least destructive thing I could do. Hindsight, well, we won't get into that. Uh, Peter Rice, who you've heard from earlier today, you know, he is our lead developer here at uh, Axiomatics. So what is our vision? It's an open source collaborative health data ecosystem where developers, engineers, data scientists, curators, scientists, physicians, and patients can all participate where value is shared. Just, just moving quickly forward. And this is done with security, privacy, and sustainability, implemented and supported by experts and ensuring compliance with appropriate laws and regulations. So this is the uh, translational research ecosystem in which axiomatics uh, exists within. I'm not going to go through this because you've heard many great talks about this already uh, today. What I do want to touch on is the Axiomatic Expert Network. What we do in terms of supporting open source projects is we recruit teams or individuals for short-term and long-term projects. These are all very uh, vetted and pre-qualified to join the network and they must maintain very high standards to continue with the program. And we have a variety of experts here running anywhere from software developers to informaticists, data scientists, and so forth. Next slide. So what is our partnership strategy? I'll go over this first. It's commercial support of open source tools for clinical and translational research. We leverage our open source experts to both support the open source projects and enhance the use of open source enterprise. We're very uh, devoted to the whole concept of open source. We've, we do joint grant applications with leading healthcare efforts, and I'll talk about one of those in a minute, to enhance use and distribution of open source and open data. We increase the uptake of I2B2 and Transmart in international markets, and we advance what we're doing now. Something new is there's we're doing an advancement of causal network biology in clinical and translational medicine. Some partners that we have right now, obviously the foundation here, Ingentium, which Rudy just uh, talked about, the Amazon. We're working with them to try to build a strong relationship 
with the Amazon Web Services. And we have a partnership with the Mayo Clinic for a clinical decision support project. One of the use cases of what we've been doing is with the uh, University of Alabama, where we've designed a custom solution uh, that they've used for interacting with all of us, where we use I2B2, map that into the OMOP ontology, into the OMOP tables, and we support the ongoing I2B2 subscription, which we provide there, as well as quarterly data updates. So our platform is a model for using I2B2 to support all of us submissions using the OMOP common data model. Use case COVID-19 Transmart. The goal here was to develop a public resource to accelerate translational research and curate the SARS COVID virus translational data into Transmart. This of course was supported by the Dell Office for Social Innovation, thank you, to generate analysis-ready COVID-19 data using Transmart. Uh, Peter Rice talked a little bit about this uh, earlier. Uh, I'll give you the latest data that we have, but Axiomatics has curated over 380 distinct translational studies into Transmart. And this is all available to the public. The platform is available for use by the community. The data are all available for download by the community. And we've already supported one datathon for the foundation in the area of COVID. If you need access with any, to any of these servers, I'd be happy to say I would give it to you, but the best person to contact here is Peter. I'm sure Peter's thanking me for that. Talked about our clinical uh, decision support system. This is work that we're doing both with the Mayo Clinic and Ingentium. This is in the area of tuberculosis. We're dealing with issues such as drug sensitivity, toxicity, mutations, and clinical data. The interesting thing here, clinical decision support is not something that's, that's new on the scene, obviously. However, interestingly enough, there has been no CDSSs for tuberculosis. The other thing that we're doing here that's interesting is we're using a rule-based model to act as our inference references in putting together this, in, this information. Again, supported by Dell. Thank you, Dell. We have an I2B2 and Transmart integration project. So we've been providing Transmart developer resources to combine I2B2 and the Transmart platform. Transmart database 19.1 includes all standard I2B2 schemas. It's a loading target for the I2B2 demo data, patient data, Transmart studies, viewing query and analysis with both platforms, and we're exploring the reuse of queries. So what are we gonna be doing in 2021? Well, detailed architecture documentation, single sign-on for Transmart. We're gonna be integrating the Transmart and the I2B2 logins, extending support for I2B2 data table names, and we'll have a public demo instance. And that's it. Thank you for your time.